mentioned a lot of our fan base appreciates being able to get to watch you know, seven or eight of the top matches and some of the techniques and explosive uh, pins and, and uh, a lot of fun to bring that. Thomas Gilman, Ethan Lezak, two ranked wrestlers. Lezak, ranked number six against Gilman, ranked number one, and rightfully so, Jim. Well, he's been dominant in this weight class. He's only really had one you know, a tough match or tight match against Nick Soriano at the Penn State duel. But other than that, he's kind of been on his offense the whole time. And, you know, he just does a great job. There's a nice job by Lisa getting to the leg. He's going to be able to step up with it, all right? You know, and not many people have been able to get to Gilman's legs here this year just because he always beats him to the punch. And now you can see that powerful grip that he has. Lisa trying to come up and shelf the leg, all right? Shelf the leg on the... Uh, High part of his hip. Now you see that elbow deep, trying to do an ankle pass right there is Gilman. Wait on the hands, and Lisek gets the points. Lezak gets the first uh, score, 2-0. The uh, redshirt sophomore out of Schnecksville, Pennsylvania, Parkland High School. And he didn't get a mat return here as they go to the center of that. He comes back in on the leg. Go off there. That gets the crowd into it. We've got our number one ranked wrestler <laughs> undefeated, Thomas Gilman. And the crowd getting right behind it after two wins at 197 in heavyweight. Lezak getting after it. And Lezak can present you with some problems. He's a little well, bit unorthodox, and he's tough on top. He's very tough on top. He's able to put the left leg in. Now he's got both boots in. He's trying to tilt him back, and the officials got a count going. And one more. He got two. Now he's able to get the... Uh, his hips up in the saddle, and he's got Gilman in real trouble in this match. And this crowd is going to help Lezak out. We were talking about he's just the type of wrestler who can present challenges and gets real sticky on top. Yeah, and I have to tell you what, if you're going to allow, you know, the, the riding that we've seen in this bout so far, that, that really helps Lezak because he can go ahead and continue to break him down. And, and watch at the last minute, he'll put that leg in right there. That left leg came in, and that's real trouble the way he gets him stretched out again. Wow. Got the four Shocker point going near on here. fall. You got four. Same hold. You got four. Yeah, now he's got the wrist locked up right there. Again, Gilman having a difficult time. When that left leg comes in for Lezak, now it's real trouble because he's able to flatten him out. Again, all the problems that you have when you're a freshman with the elbows out and the wrist in, Lezak having an easy time collecting that wrist. Gets him back up on top, and this educated gopher crowd knows what's happening here. They've really got Gilman out of sorts. Lezak in the lineup time, wrestling, uh, just in the last month you. after becoming eligible again after the first semester not being eligible. He redshirted last year. Stalemate. Oh, that's a break. Green, you're down. The crowd didn't like the stalemate call there. That is a break. Lezak, his freshman year, was pulled out of redshirt. Red it was just tough sledding for him. Look at the start. Okay, left leg, see how that left leg is creeping in again? Doesn't have this tight, and he's able to collect the wrist. He's just gonna settle back, but boy, what a great period by Lezak. Knows where he is, it's the end of the first period. 8-0 with a lot of riding time, so Thomas Gilman finds himself in a deep hole early. No doubt about it, he, he, he gave up. You know, not many guys beat Gilman to the punch as far as getting on the offense on the leg. On the shot, I think it surprised him. He did a nice job You're of finishing down. it. You He's always been tough You've in the top position. Tom Brand's trying to say, don't choose down. Yeah. And, uh, well, you know, you, you either, you, the problem with that call when you're kind of out of sorts and you give the thumbs up, you know, you're not, are you telling the guy to stand up or are you going to tell the relax, guy to go neutral, relax. right? So are you telling him to go down? And, you know, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm, we're not an advantage point or we don't really have a good line of the communication but sometimes that you gotta they want him to come up and some that's really difficult to do good leg wrestler so he forced at that time but see how the other leg comes in 
Gilman is a strong 125 pounder and he's using a lot of energy. Easy. I don't think that's a problem for him. I think it's just a technical thing at this point. He's not tired. Set green, don't Lee move. Zach, now a two-time Pennsylvania State Champion, was an NCAA qualifier two years ago. As I said, red-shirted last year and in the lineup after not being in the lineup the first semester. He's working the spiral pretty hard on the right-hand side. He's got the he's stuff in the head. And notice how he scooped that leg up to get Gilman on that knee. Now the, when you, the difficult thing, starts moving him forward, drops in on the leg. And he'll take a stall warning here to stay in the top position. And the stop and the warning for not moving up. You can't stay down for longer than four counts below the hip. So on the fifth count, J.R. Johnson stops the match and warns. But Tim, if you're, you're if you're Brandon Eggham, you'll take that call right there because you want to keep this match in a spot where Gilman is uncomfortable, and that's clearly in the down position. Breaks him down again, left leg comes in. Now he's going to go ahead and work that wrist. And if he can get that left, worm that left hand in through there, he's actually coming over the top. Gilman trying to hand fight right there while keep, keeping his chest up. But look at the grip of the left arm right there of, of, uh, of Lezak. Now they're fighting. And so he's got the two on one. And that's the problem with this. You've got to push that leg away or else it becomes just like another arm. And he did it right there. He's going to go ahead and get the... Uh, He's in a position to lock the leg and get the reversal. Has not called it yet. J.R. Johnson, the official, is still saying control for Minnesota. Yeah. Gets the and there's the two. But it's just uh, too little too late at this point in the match right there. So is he going to go ahead? He's got to probably stay on top of him and cover him. Look for his own tilt. Well, this has been an excellent two Easy. periods for Lezak, but does he have the conditioning now Nothing to keep the lead? Lezak out in front, eight to two. He's lost a couple of times to Timmy Lambert from Nebraska and a close match to Nick Seriano, eight to six for Penn State. You know, that was Gilman's choice right there, Tim, and what we, we didn't catch there is that uh, Lezak was the one that took the top took position. Took the top position, yeah. In the second period. So Lezek chose the top position in the tech second period. Now Gilman just doing what he knows best is just get on the offense the whole time. And where Lezak is not the strongest. Yep, and so. Lezak has to battle, he comes in on the shot. This is gonna be easy for uh, uh, Gilman to get back in the match and he already has. Yes, he Another is stuffing behind. the head and going and He's gonna get it, he's gonna turn he's gonna him over. drive it over. He's got the chin as he adjusts. He's picking the head off the mat. What a comeback. Wow. Down 8-0. And I'll tell you what, he's got it very tight here. It's going to be difficult for Lezak to stay off his back. What a great comeback by Thomas Gilman, down 8-0, working on the feet. And I don't care who you are, if you're the number one ranked wrestler in the country, you're down 8-0. That's a difficult thing to come back, and that's a huge confidence builder. And you think you say, well, this guy doesn't have a lot, he already has a lot of confidence, but you know what? Still, that uh, is an excellent job of staying poised, staying under control, and that's exactly what he's doing right now. And that's exactly what you, what you just said, stayed poised, and that's what you see all year long from Thomas Gilman, never more than today. Yeah, he, he, he showed area, great job by Lezek to get the lead, but we kind of knew that there would be a, some sort of furious comeback by this guy, and here it is right there. He's able to go ahead and keep the head off of the mat, and then he casts across once he has the points and locks up a headlock. See how he comes underneath the, ne the neck, all right, and then comes over the cast over the other side and follows it up with a headlock. He knows he can't pin him in this situation, but comes across, casts across the body, and locks it up. Yeah, Stays right out on his toes there, Jim. Yeah. And he's, he's, he knows he's going to collect the points, yeah. but that's how he finishes it. Comes under the hook, under hook right there, and then comes across the body into a headlock. And this is when you knew that Lezek was done. Poise. And watch that. Watch, you know, he's the man, all right? 
he's been the man so far for Iowa. Look at that Iowa bench. And maybe never more so than right now. 